<laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Me, Strider are down the beach and what we're gonna do today, because we haven't done this in so long you guys have been asking, is I've got my dive knife. With no food at all and I'm gonna try and hunt something with just this, it's all I'm gonna use and we'll just see what happens today. You know what it is, no plan, no real rules. This is the best thing about this, this is why I like doing it. It's just for fun, you know? Man, I'm not in a survival situation. I can literally hop in my car and drive home if I want to, but I love putting myself in a situation where I'm just hunting my own food. Little challenges like just using this knife and like make something like a weapon later or something like that. Jonah, what are you doing over there? I'm gonna head that way. Along the coast, it's really remote and... Let's try to just snap one off. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> just feeling something smelly. A couple of bottles of water and also striped biscuits for Strider in case she gets hungry. That's the only food I've packed. I've packed no other food at all. And look, I actually remembered the Strider cam. So that's going to be epic today. Are you ready to go get some food? You ready to go hunt some food? Good girl. All right, let's go. It's actually beautiful at the moment out there. It's so nice. I've got a first aid kit with me, I've got an emergency phone with me, and I've got all my safety stuff just sorted in case anything goes wrong, and I've let a few people know where I'm gonna be and what time and stuff like that. So it's all good, make sure you guys do that. You know, safety is number one. I love coming down here and doing this, you know, when you sort of put yourself in a little survival situation scenario. You look at everything different, sticks, stones, even rubbish you can use to make weapons or, or anything like that. So I, like, it completely changes your whole perspective of driving along the beach, like looking for different things and everything starts looking like snacks. <laughs> a little bit of a river crossing up here. Burnout. Woo. Oh. First stop. These guys remember the uh, YBS treehouse thing that we're sort of starting to create. Man, I got to get back into this. Leave a comment below if you want to see us start building this back up and using it a bit more. I might come back here later on if I get a feed and cook it up. Isla's swing still here. <laughs> Dry it up. Well, looky, looky. Coke can. I've actually been pretty impressed. This is the first bit of rubbish we found in kilometers. So it's been really good. So pretty good job guys, hey. As I tell you guys a pretty funny story about when I was a grommet, hey. <laughs> so I always used to make cubby houses and always hang out at the beach doing what I'm doing now, but when I was a lot younger, you know, 10, 11, I think around the age this was. Anyway, we had a cubby house and me and my friends went out, we caught a mud crab and went back, made a fire and cooked it up. And all we had to put the fire out was this big wooden board. And I was young and I didn't know any better, so I just I just smothered the fire with this big wooden board. Got in our pushies and we rode home, and then by that afternoon, all the hills were on fire. Obviously, the fire reignited, the board spread, and I lit pretty much half the town on fire. <laughs> so, I guess I've been a little bit of a pyro since I was younger. That's where we have Fire Baby was born. Make sure you do the right thing when you're putting your fire out and everything like that. Might go for a little explore along here and see if there's anything there to have a snack on. Not exactly what I expected to find on the reef, but there's an ant there, a bull ant, and I am going to eat that because that is yummy. Come here, little bugger. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like candy. Yeah, it's beautiful. Probably perfect to go down and get a mud crab. All I've eaten today is an ant. <laughs> That's so funny, man. I, but anyway, it's all good. It, it doesn't really matter. It just... <laughs> More exciting news is all next week, from like Tuesday on, looks like amazing weather. So, I'm just gonna go camping probably the whole time. So if you don't hear from me after this episode for a few days or a week, it's because I'm going out camping, but I'll keep you updated. <laughs> you ready for action, huh? Low tide, and it's still going out more. By the time the sun goes down, it should be almost dead low. So what me and Strider are gonna do, we're just gonna start walking along here. Seeing what we can find. It might be time to hook on some Strider Camp.
Zoki. Ah, huh? said Noki. I'm not really in any survival mission at all. If I was in a survival mission, I'd be eating that right now. But I really, really love octopuses. And this guy, what he's done, he's just put himself in this tire pool. And a little later on, he's just going to go around and he's going to eat all the mollusks and all the little crabs and everything that's caught in this tide pool. So I think I'm just going to let this guy go and continue our adventure and see what we can find. Watch this, when I pick this guy up, he will change the same colour tone as my skin. See that? <laughs> Whoa, oh, a bit of ink. Okay, mate, I'll leave you alone. Ah, he's biting me. Gone. <laughs> You're trapped. Unfortunately for this little guy here, in a few hours, this tide pool is literally going to be nothing. It's going to be a mud flat. So I'm going to grab him and relocate him out a bit deeper. Hold your breath. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go. Oh, it's so cute. There you go, little fella. <laughs> Look at him go now. Yeah, son. Woohoo! <laughs> See ya, mate. <laughs> the whole ocean is dead glassy. Look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, the reflection's insane. Go get him! <laughs> Ooh, Pippi! Hell yeah, I'm gonna eat that. Boom. Another one. Hell yeah. That's a score, I didn't think I was gonna find these. <laughs> Ooh, big fella. G'day, mate. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your afternoon. <laughs> well, uh, that's interesting. Take that back to the car. Some dolphins out here in so shallower water. It looks like he's like rubbing his back and having a little scratch. So, got the drone up in the air still, but I'm gonna go out there and check it out if they're still doing it. All right, me and Strider are just gonna make a little fire and uh, cook up these pippies. Doesn't take long. And a little snack on the go. And I'm so excited about it because I'm so hungry. I haven't had pippies in ages since I was like a grommet. Dun, dun, dun. Aha! Perfect. Oh, it is. Bit of igniter, now I just gotta go grab some small sticks and a couple of bigger sticks and we're sweet. Come on, Strider. Hey! Small stick city. Look at all this. <laughs> Strider's just digging me a little hole there to start my fire. Thanks, Strider. <laughs> Good girl, thank you. That's enough, we don't need to dig anymore. That's okay. I got a little extra when I collected my wood. Little gecko here, I'll just grab him. Oop, little quick little bugger. Hey. Oop, <laughs> I don't want to hurt ya. Oop, 
Oh, jeez, he's quick. Wait, what are you doing on my foot? <laughs> Come on, here. Okay, okay. All right, I got gotcha. you. Oh, you quick. All right. All right, I got him here. I'm just gonna chuck him back up. Back up where I found him. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. See ya. Sorry, mate. Have a good one. Back to the fire strider. Come on. Let's cook some peppies, baby. Woo! Couple of small sticks. <laughs> oh, she's getting warm quick. Yes, 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 yes. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, baby. <laughs> Ow! We got fire, baby. Yes, Strata. Hey. Oh. Here we go. Oh, so pretty much just put my pippies in there for like, well, not even five minutes until they open up. And when they open up, I'll grab them out, let them cool down and get into them. And then when you get a heap of pippies and you want to cook them properly, you got to put them in water overnight and they'll sort of open up and they'll spit out all the sand and gunk that they keep inside. But hey. Oh, look at that. They've been popping. I just got to get them out now. And then, and That's them ready. That was not, that was two minutes. You beauty. I can't wait to get into them. Oh. 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 How's this for a setup, huh? I said I was going to come out and get a feed with my knife. <laughs> I know they're just pippies, but hey, that's perfect, man. Just pop it off. Come on. Come on, baby. No! I dropped it in the sand. <laughs> All right, I was going to wash it. Be right back. Shit! Whew. Here it is. Booyah. Mmm. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Tastes a little bit like squid, a little bit like crab, and a bit of extra crunch in there with the sand because I didn't purge it out, and I absolutely love that. That was so good. Quick little feed, a little bit of an energy boost, and me and Strider's gonna keep heading that way along the coast, and let's go see if we can find a mud crab or just go for more of an explore. It's been such a fun day so far. Whoa, this wet sand from down the bottom there, perfect to put out a fire. All right, let's do it. Thirsty work, Strider, huh? Man, that sunset is gonna be absolutely wild. Oh my God. I've just taken a little pit stop here cause the sunset is honestly gonna be off its head. So what I'm gonna do, check it out guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that drone up in the air and this is gonna be wild. Look how beautiful it is behind me.
before we steam up the beach a bit more and go to the mud crabbing spot i just want to take time to thank you guys for all your support honestly it means the world to me and it lets me do this kind of thing so thank you from the bottom of my heart really 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 do appreciate it you guys you oh that sunset got me right in the feels let's keep moving Woohoo! you ready strider are you ready to go Okay. <laughs> it's just getting better. I can't actually believe it. It's the longest sunset in the world. It's dry as frothing. Where's those crabs? Where are the crabs? Whoops. <laughs> All right, guys. Prepare yourself for this. Are you ready? <laughs> Look at the sunset. It's actually still going. It's blowing my mind. I'm at the mud crab zone and me and Strider are just going to go exploring. I got my boots on, got my backpack on. Thank you, Mr. Shimano. Woohoo! Look how calm it is. Oh. Woo! Strider! I'm the luckiest bugger out. Thank you guys for supporting me again. Like, so what normally happens is as the tide's pushing out, the big mud crabs, mostly the bucks go looking for the females or a feed and they'll come out of their holes and follow the tide out and then they'll wait for the tide to come back in and get a free ride in. They're dead low right now and there's no tide movement and the feeders are actually almost dry. So I think I've missed it by about half an hour, an hour. So hopefully when the tide pushes back in on my way back, I might be able to find some, but I actually did did cook it. I got distracted. Did you see that bloody sunset? Big crocs aren't common at all around these parts in Australia where I am, but still when the sun goes down and I'm all out here by myself in the mangroves, I always think that there's going to be crocodiles around and I'm half excited, half scared shitless. <laughs> More so because I don't want Strider to ever get bitten. All right, it's pretty much gone dark now and me and Strider just walking around this feeder here. We are looking for crabs, but we're also looking for cool shit. So we don't really care if we find either. Crabs are cool shit. It's about knee deep. Oh. <laughs> hey. Good girls, Trader. All right, no mud crabs, but we're just gonna start heading back towards the car. We walk for an hour or so. So it's a bit of a trek back. And then it's a big drive back into town tonight. So I'll see you guys back at the car. The moon's coming up over there. What are you doing it? Whoops. Woo! Man, that was a big day. Big, started off slow. I was a bit confused of what I wanted to do, but it ended up being such an amazing day. I had a great time, but that's it for another episode. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Didn't get any mud crabs, but I didn't really, I didn't really care. And I'm going to start going to steam home now, have a bit of a feed and cook up some of that squid and red that we got the other day from the episode. And yeah, like I mentioned before, the next week from now on is pretty much amazing weather. So I'm going to drop the boat in, head to the remote islands and camp out and just see what happens. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. It's going to be good. Phew! Cheers. Want to say something, Strider? Do you want to say anything? Strider. Speaking of feet, let's uh, 